Hello there. 3D printers are really amazing tools, but at least in the consumer market they come with big restrictions that really keep you from making the things exactly like you want them to be. Let's just say you wanted to print this on your regular consumer grade 3D printer. This really leaves you with three options. You could just start the print and then after a couple of hours you would return to a huge mess. The reason for this is your 3D printer can't handle overhangs greater than 45 degrees and right there we have a 90 degree angle. So the second option you have is altering the design of this. So you could just change the design of things but that isn't really what you want. And then you have a third option and that is to add support material. But then you have to go the extra mile when cleaning your whole print up. And all that cleanup can take a while because the support structure is fused together with the actual model. So all those disadvantages got me thinking and so I looked at other processes of additive manufacturing and I learned that in the industry the most common way of 3D printing or the most common process is elective laser sintering or SLS. And that is used because it allows printing of any shape without design restrictions. And also it yields super strong print ads with a wide, 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 wide variety of materials. So you can print from sugar to, nylon, to highly dense nylon powder and anything in between really. So I asked myself, um, why have I never heard of this? Um, and so I looked into this um, process in detail and it turns out that the machines that use this process are incredibly expensive. So, so they are far out of reach for any individual with a price range of something in between a very expensive car or a very very expensive home. And since I learned that um, I started designing my own selective laser centering 3D printer. And now I'm done with the designing and USLS will be the first selective laser centering 3D printer that is both open source and includes all the feature that um, a professional machine or a commercial machine has so you can really take full advantage of the process of selective laser centering. It is also designed in such a way that it only uses the most generic parts and electronics that are broadly available. So you can build a USLS for less than $2000. This is where I need your help. I'm unable to afford the, po the costs of the first prototype. So I need your support. The reward should be interesting for everyone as, as you get to put your name on the machine. So, so just be sure to check those out. I've built my first 3D printer over a year ago and stayed in contact with the, both experts from material science and, and the industry during the design process. So they all assured me that this design is solid. And please, if you, if you can, contribute to this project. You, even if you don't donate, just share it or even the smallest amount of donation can really help.